Hello YouTube. In this video, I want to give you more detailed information about the 3D printed hinged fabric. And especially something like how it's designed and printed. Let's get started. Let's start with the designing part. And I designed this part in Fusion 360 because I design everything I do in Fusion 360. It's free to use when you use it non-commercially and I think it's overall a great program. Let's start with a new sketch and then draw a rectangle by 25, that's way too small, 25 by 25 millimeters or what you want, you can do it bigger or smaller. Then you need to extrude it up like 5 millimeters. And create a new sketch but this time on this plane here zoom in and draw a circle by five millimeters and another one with 2.5 or 3 2.5 yeah take 2.5 millimeters do that also on the other side circle by 2.5 and another one 2.5 here 2.5 and then we're going to also draw a rectangle from here and 2.5 millimeters in this side 2.5 and also do that on the other side from here and 2.5 millimeters in the width and finish the sketch and select this control this and control this and on the other side this control this and control this and now you can extrude it therefore you rotate a bit zoom out and select extrude and you go about 23 millimeters in this direction and you select not one side and instead both sides and here minus two millimeters that should be good and cut out and then you have here a cut out with this circle and a bit of a rectangle now we can go to drawings or sketches and select this sketch or this the sketch 2 must be and then select this and this then again extrude and just like before both sides and 23 and minus 2 and then you have here a circular extrusion. That looks great. And now you can make it invisible again. And now we want to make a new sketch. This time the negative of what we did now. The sketch should be here. New sketch. And now we build the negative. You remember we had here a circle with 5 millimeters and here one with um, 2.5 millimeters so here we now basically do the negative of it but with a bit of tolerance so here we can make a circle but only like 4.5 millimeters and another one with 3 millimeters good and on the other side the same Oh, that doesn't work. Oh, can't select that point. That's because I have a circle on the other side. Then I will need to take line from here to the middle. Three millimeters. And uh, three millimeters isn't the middle. 2.5 it. And then I can select this point. 
we have here 4.5 millimeters again 4.5 and 3 perfect and we're gonna extrude it again here extrude that and that extrude and here we don't take 23 and minus 2 because then we would have no tolerance but 22 and minus 3 in both sides and minus 3 but not cut out instead combine that's great okay and now we are almost done but we need to extrude this plane and this one here by minus one millimeter and that doesn't work because it's not the same plane minus one or is that a bit too much i think that's okay and on the other side here minus one and in theory that's all you can duplicate and rotate that but you also can make it a bit more round and beautiful but i will go to buy these and select this one right click on it and go to copy then go to select this anywhere you want right click and then paste now you have it right here and you need to move it 25 millimeters that's all and then we will take this body go to move take the center point and rotate it 90 degrees and that should be it as you can see here they don't go into each other and they still have a bit of space in between them here let's continue with the slicing i just imported these two bodies and let's see how they would look as you can see here you would need some support there here wait there because that is just printed in the air and as you can see in a few seconds that part here looks good for now because it should be able to work with bridging just from here to here this is completely in the air but it's connected on both sides but if you go up a little bit more then we will see it's connected at this side and it shouldn't be connected and that way it wouldn't be able to move and that's until here when they separate again so you would need to change that luckily there is a very easy solution for this problem you just need to select this plane here and extrude it a bit um, something between half and a full millimeter I'll take one millimeter here just to make sure and of course you need to make this same at the other side I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you don't have any questions about this hinged fabric left if you have or questions about anything else please note them in the comments I hope I can answer them if not see you in the next one